Welcome back to Rudy's One Sixth World for another First Thoughts video. And today we'll be taking a look at the latest offering from Hot Toys in what has to be the most unexpected out of nowhere announcement from them maybe ever. And that is Morbius from the Sony Morbius movie as part of their Spider-Verse universe. So again, talk about a major surprise. First of all, the movie was universally panned and I don't believe it did well at the box office at all. It is on my queue to watch, but I, I haven't watched it yet. I, I was originally really intrigued and thought the trailers looked good, but once the movie came out and it just got destroyed, I, I have been in a rush to, to watch it. Uh, also, the movie came out a long time ago, so if anything, I was expecting this figure to be announced by a third party company, but Hot Toys just did the unexpected and showcased the figure. So let's jump right in and take a look at his accessories. And he comes as expected with a set of interchangeable hands. He comes with his speed effects, which look really great on the figure. And at this point with the Thor figures, for example, and the upcoming Electro figure, Hot Toys has really figured out how to do these effects really well. And most impressively, he comes with a stand that includes a swarm of bats on either side. So it looks like he's moving with the bats accompanying him. The most recent trend from Hot Toys is without a doubt the diorama base. And even at SDCC going on right now, we're seeing a lot of figures including those. So while this isn't quite at the same intricacy of some of the other bases, it does give you a really nice display option. And the bats are actually really nicely sculpted and with the wings in different positions, it just looks really good. Now let's look at his clothing and it's a fairly simple outfit with the black cargo pants, a black dress shirt, sculpted black shoes that have really nice detail to them. Uh, but I think the highlight here is the long jacket. It has some nice texturing to it and some uh, and seems to be fully wired to give you the ability to give the figure that more dynamic look. And it does have the purplish lining too, which combined with the speed effects, gives the figure a little splash of color. Also, I do have to note the hands look great. They have that vampire skin tone and the nails are nicely detailed and long, which leads to the figure sculpt and wow. I, I mean, Hot Toys really delivered an amazing sculpt here. Starting with the hair, it's sculpted and the layering is done really well. I do think with the longer hair, there may be some limitations on how much you can rotate the sculpt, but to me, it looks amazing. But then let's look at the sculpt itself and, and there's this great paint application here as well as texturing, detailing with the frown lines on his forehead, and then you've got the detailing for the teeth. Sometimes the open mouth expression uh, that Hot Toys gives us can be a little strange, hit and miss, like the Peacemaker sculpt, for example, which fortunately Hot Toys has addressed. But here, this looks impressive. The teeth here just look amazingly well done, and there's an intensity to the expression that just works well. Even the, the nose with the bat-like appearance, I, I love that we're getting this as a vampire. So there's no denying that Hot Toys did a great job all around here, and the figure looks outstanding. So overall thoughts? A figure actually looks fantastic. It came out of nowhere and I would have wanted to I would have wanted to personally get a figure even if it was a third party Morbius for my Spider-Man villains collection. So having a Hot Toys quality version is a no brainer for me. Uh, this one will be a day one pre-order. And before you say you're crazy, this is a waste of time figure. For me, it fits in really well with the collection I have and I'm continuing. And more importantly, I think as collectors, we sometimes say Hot Toys it can be a little stagnant and give us the same thing over and over. Troopers, Iron Man figures. So when they do something different, I, I do like to encourage it. Uh, and as this figure fits in my collection, it makes sense to order it. I also think it's going to look really great with um, Dead Strange uh, and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ghost Rider I have. So I'm, I'm definitely starting to get a Marvel creature side of things going as well. Having said that, I do have to ask myself, what goes through the minds of Hot Toys execs in determining what figures we get and don't get? For example, they teased Red Guardian from the Black Widow movie, which did better overall performance-wise than Morbius, and yet he's been relegated to the void of figures we'll probably never see. Similarly, the Vulture, which was teased years ago and is now making its rounds again at the conventions, I figured that one might have been dropped for pre-order last night. And then with Thor Love and Thunder, currently at now, which again received mixed results, but has already outgrossed Morbius, I would have expected at least a Jane Foster Thor, but there's not a peep or anything at SDCC for, the, for that movie. Uh, the decisions made by Hot Toys can be a little baffling. In this case, I'm not complaining because I like and I want the figure, but still, it just leaves you wondering what's going through their heads. So what do you all think? My guess, I'm probably gonna be one of the very few number of people to order this guy. Um, I don't know, you tell me if I'm wrong. Are some of you tempted by this? I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this one, which is again, a surprising release from Hot Toys. And if you're enjoying the content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll touch base on the next video.